Alright, so if you're a new player to the game and you don't know about how much different currencies are worth and you know the value and whatnot so there is a website it's called poe.trade okay you go to it and you can search for items and everything uh, the base I mean the type of the the item the base of the item just mess around here but for the currencies you check out the currency market so one thing you should know the main currency in the game is chaos orbs right if you play Diablo 2 uh, Istruns used to be the main currency people used to measure items and other currencies such as high runes with Istruns so here people measure things with chaos orbs and if you want to know the general value of chaos orbs you have the PoE currency market which lists all the possible currencies in the game and tell you how much they're worth simply by it changes it fluctuates all the time but the values remain almost the same so if let's say you want a certain currency and you have chaos to pay for it because chaos is the main currency or if you want to purchase certain currencies and you have chaos you know to pay for it right uh, so let's just say you want cartographer sextants journeyman right the yellow ones and you have chaos orbs to pay for it you search and it tells you that one sextant is worth about four chaos orbs steep I think so but that's the price and you see a bunch of people that are selling for about four you know and the lower you go the more you'll have to pay for the sextant so you always get the best value in the first row and you need to check out the ratio between you know the chaos and the uh, sextant or whatever you're buying and you can do the same only the other way around let's say you had chaos you know uh, you wanted chaos and you had sextants and you search and you see that here the value is a little bit different right a little bit earlier it was one to four now it's one to four point four because that's how flippers make you know the currency market work if you want something you have to pay more for it essentially and chaos is the main currency so that's kind of like basically uh, how it works and you can do that with every item in the game so for example you need chaos orbs and you have a bunch of alteration orbs to sell you search and it shows you um, that you know this guy is selling 140 um, you know alteration orbs for 10 chaos so you know that the value is approximately 14.8 this guy 14.9 14.915 so you get the idea it's about 15 cow uh, 15 alteration for one chaos um, yeah another thing is manage your shop button if you want to sell or buy you know pretty easy um, you just click this button and you get a link um, if you follow a simple instruction I already you know I already had a link so I can manage my own shop so I go to this screen but you will get like a link that you will have to follow you just send a simple message and it logs you in and then it knows that it's you so it tells me hello Moses because it knows my account so here you you know click in the league and uh, here you can put offers that will show up in those searches that I was just showing you so this is my offer and whenever somebody wants to buy chisels they may contact me so you can uh, you know um, basically add a new offer right here so let's say you have an exalted orb right select your option this is what you sell give so exalted orb right let's say you found one how many do you have one because that's what you found what do you want to get and chaos orb is the main currency so let's say you want to get chaos orb how many do you want to get you want to get 90 of them okay now you save and bump and this will show for other people on their search 
and it's a very very nice way to manage currency a um, couple of days ago I kinda got stuck without chaos and farming the type of maps that I farm you always 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 find six socketed items and I had like 4,000 jeweler orbs and I just got rid of them almost instantly by selling 125 for 10 chaos so I got hundreds of chaos, hundreds of chaos orbs by getting rid of all my jeweler orbs that I don't need. Chaos orbs are very important because you buy those sextants with them that I constantly use on the maps that I grind. Uh, you need those chaos orbs to buy the league stones that I constantly buy to be able to run the maps that I grind. You know, so this is a very, uh, very, very helpful tool. Where was it here? Um. Come on, here we go. So this one right here, very very helpful tool that uh, that will help you post your things so that other people can see them. But for the time being, I don't really sell because I don't have any exalts. But let's say you found one. Now, how do you know how much that exalt is worth? Again, we can go back to the previous uh, explanation. We go to the currency search, and let's say we want chaos because we found an exalt so we're just looking for information to see how much exalted orbs are worth right now so um, yeah one guy is uh, trying to uh, get 92 chaos for one exalt you know um, yeah so it's it's normally about 90 that's what normally happens uh, recently but again prices change so I like to buy your 92 chaos for uh, my one exalt. Probably, if you're going to contact this guy, he's going to be AFK. I think what's happening right now is that there are like price fixers. The prices of exalts is going down, so people are willing to pay less and less for exalts. A couple of days ago, it was like 90. Today, it's been like 85, 84 sometimes. So this guy just posts this in in hopes of other people looking for the price and be like okay so the price is 92 I'm gonna ask for 92 as well so that other people will post for 92 which will make these guys drop their price because see there's a bunch of uh, there's a bunch of other guys that wants to sell for 85 for one or 85 and a half and so on don't work like too much around like don't bother yourself too much with that. It's the currency market. Just like anything, it's a system. You need to learn it. It's not very complicated. And, uh, yeah. Let's say you found a reliquary key. Okay, so what do you want? You want chaos. And you found uh, an ancient reliquary key. That's uh, awesome. So, great. These are worth 103 chaos. They're pretty rare. And people are paying for those uh, handsomely. So you should check out and see how much those are worth in case you found one. And that's like an easy way... You know, let's say you went into a Val side area, you know, so again, you want chaos, you found a midnight piece. Awesome. How much is a midnight piece worth? Midnight piece is worth three chaos. Sweet. So you contact this guy, you sell him your midnight, he gives you three chaos. Awesome. And that was it. And uh, it's a really, really, really helpful tool. I didn't focus too much on the item trade. That's like an entirely different thing. It takes a little bit of, uh, like, there's a bunch of stuff again, but um, that's for another time, I guess.